How does Rune handle your metadata? As soon as you have entered the location or locations where your music is stored, Rune will start reading all the files and storing the metadata in its own database on the system disk of the device the Rune core is running on. This will often be a computer, but can also be a NAS or server, or even a dedicated device like the ELAC Discovery Server. Then Rune starts searching more metadata for each album, and when found, this again is stored in Rune's own database. You have full control on what metadata is shown in Rune. Go to an album, click the knob with the three vertical dots, and select Edit. Select the Metadata Preference tab to select which fields should use either Rune or the file metadata. If you want to manually correct the metadata, select the Edit Fields tab. Here again, you can select between the Rune or file metadata, but you can also enter your own text in the blank field. You can also select Album Art when more than one is available. Edit Release Date add labels, and so on. Please do realize that these changes again are stored in the Rune database and not in the audio files. If you want to store the metadata shown in Rune in audio files, you have to export that album or given selection to another place to later replace the old files with the newly exported files. Thank you for watching. If you have a question about the use of Rune or Rune Essentials, please post it below this video on YouTube. Provided I have an answer and I can spare the time, I will answer it in another video. Also visit the Hans Beekhuizen channel for reviews. See the link in the top right corner.